it was as odd as you would expect it to be. Um, it's a great reminder, you know, seeing something like that occur to one of your friends. Sure. Uh, one of those great reminders of uh, we're all living on borrowed time, baby. And uh, don't sweat the small, all, the, all those cliches about don't sweat the small stuff and enjoy every sandwich. And just because you're on television doesn't mean you're not uh, subjected to the, the, the world at large. Yeah, well, you know, it's by health. And Bob's talked extensively about this, you know, post all the things that have gone on for him. You know, uh, people have heart incidences, attacks every day. He was the luckiest guy in the world in that he did it in front of everybody. Yeah. Had, I mean, he said, had he been, had he gone to his trailer, he'd be dead. I mean, there's no question. It's crazy. And, and he didn't. And Ray and I were there because the three of us hang out in between scenes. I mean, we're yeah. just there having a great time working on a scene. And then all of a sudden Bob goes down and Ray and I are the only ones there. We run over to him and we start screaming. And then he's talked about this as well at a bunch of places. And you know, we're yelling for help and then help comes and then help uh, people, you know, if you don't know CPR, you should go learn it. There's no doubt about that. And we had people there who knew exactly what to do and they were able to revive him. And, you know, he, he not doing well. And, and but to your point, um, what do you feel like at that moment? I think like anybody who's watching something extraordinary happen beside them, your disbelief, right? Yeah. This can't be happening. I mean, I had a strange thought that goes through my brain when he's when he was lying there and they were working on him. And I thought, well, you can't die. You have a pitch for next flicks next week, right? You know, which doesn't make any sense. And then all of a sudden when, you know, an ambulance comes and it takes your friend away, then we're all standing there. Now he's gone. The people who can help him are gone. And everybody else who you came to work with today is just standing there. And it's you're shell shocked. You don't know what to do. And it's the good news is, is that we're all family and we're all there to sort of comfort one another. And 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 really the, the, the great news is that Rosa Estrada, who was one of the people who helped revive Bob, who's our, our set medic, um, she she's worked in a uh, an ER for uh, for years. And so she was able to gather everybody up together and say, hey, I know you're all shocked. You should be all shocked. This is a traumatic event for everybody. Absolutely. But she, but she was able to say, I have been in these situations before and I have seen people and I know what they look like if they are not going to make it. That is not Bob. Bob is going to make it and he's going to be okay. So go home and take care of yourselves. And just having that one person with a surety, and by the way, I don't think Rosa would say anything that she doesn't believe, sure. really help, helped us all go like, okay, okay, you know, and then... Um, and then you go get, you know, then you still have to like, you know, walk the dog, go have dinner, go figure out the rest of the day. It was so odd and so weird. And yet, six weeks later, we're back at work. What was it like uh, his first day back on the set? Um, it was emotional. It was emotional and wonderful and, and, and great. And uh, but, you know, typical Bob, he was also sort of underplaying it as well. Sure. You know, and uh, I think in the end, it's just a TV show. Um, certainly anybody's health is more important than that. Oh, of course. But, but because his health was so good and he wasn't able to bounce back and thank God, thank God everybody doesn't be an actor. Those doctors in Albuquerque, at the hospital, thank God people know what to do. And then, you know, you, you go to those emergency rooms, you get into those things, you're like, oh, thank you. Thank you for going to medical school. Thank you for knowing all of this stuff. It's a miracle. It's amazing. And yet it's what they do every day. Boom, 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 boom. So he was working six weeks. We we're having a great time and we were able to finish the season. And so now by the time you get to the end of the season, you know, we're back at, ah, oh, this day's too long. Oh, are they having chicken? You know what I mean? It's human nature. All of a sudden you're bitching again. And every now and then you have to remind yourself, oh, hey, this could have gone another way. And it didn't. So it's fantastic. You know, we got a season six. Bob's doing a book tour. Uh, we're right. going to have premieres. And uh, we're so excited. It's, I'm, I'm so blessed and so lucky. And I'm so glad. Honestly, I'm, I was glad I was there to see it so I could see all of it. I saw the worst of it. And then I got to see the best of it coming back and finishing all up.